What's good people, Simeon Panda here and welcome to my channel. Okay, so we're continuing on with the mini series that I'm doing, helping you guys build your chest based on the questions that I keep getting in the gym. As I said in my last video, I keep getting guys come up to me and say, how do I build this? How do I hit up here? And I said to you in the last one that it does shock me because these guys already look like they've been working out for years and it shocks me that they don't know. But at the same time, I do remember before I learned my anatomy and how to hit certain areas, I too looked like I'd been in the gym for years, you know? So these are things that you might just not have considered and you might just be freestyling through your routine. But now with this, you're gonna know exactly what exercises to hit the areas that you want to hit. So today we're gonna work on the lower chest and that is something I should know about because I have a very heavy lower chest, you can see, and it's a, I get comments about it, how it really hangs. And some people say, he's got boobs because yeah, they're, they're so heavy. So I can teach you how to get lower chest if that's something that you're lacking and how to get it wide as well. So the exercises I'm gonna show you today are gonna to be able to really make your chest wide and uh, hit the lower, lower part of your chest. So let's get going. First exercise that I'm showing you guys is the decline bench press and this is a great exercise to target your lower chest. As your body is in that sloped position, as you push the weights away from your body, it activates that lower chest so it is an awesome way to target that area. You will seldom see me do this exercise, in fact you probably just you probably won't because it's not a part of my routine. Now why am I telling you that? It's because what I want you guys to understand is what you target in the gym is specific to your body. So as I told you before, I don't need any more lower chest. My chest hangs already because there's so much muscle. So in fact, most of the exercise I'm gonna show you today, apart from the dips, which I do in a specific way to target my triceps, you won't actually see me do. Now, if you do need to build your lower chest, these exercises are perfect for you. So I did do these exercises in the past and maybe I did a little bit too much and that's why I have so much lower chest. In fact, I know for a fact that one of the exercises we're gonna do today is one that I did too much and I'll talk about it when we get to it. But yeah, this is a perfect way to build your lower chest. So you're gonna grab here, you're gonna make sure that your legs are fully locked in. And then as you go back, don't just swing back, look at where you're going because you can hit your head on the bar, tuck underneath it, and then do your typical checks. So I like to have my thumbs on the grip line and then my position will be here. And then the other thing I want you guys to know is that when you bring the bar down, so I'm gonna lift it off. You're bringing it down just to where your chest is, that line there. You see, just underneath my chest, that's where I'm gonna be finishing uh, the rep. And then up. So just down to my chest line here, and up. So bear that in mind. Don't have it down here near your neck. Don't have it here by your abs, just underneath your chest line here, and up. Guys, the great thing about this decline variety, as opposed to you know a regular uh, decline bench press, is the fact that unlike with the the bench press, when you bring the bar down, you get that um, energy, the elastic energy. You're not going to get that with this because it's a floor press. So what I want you to do is when you come down, rest that arm on the floor, let the energy dissipate, and then press to the top. You know, nice controlled movement, and that decline position will make you draw on your lower chest, and you will get an incredible pump. So. Um, Definitely try that one out. Make sure you're in the middle, make sure that everything's aligned, create that glute bridge, and then press to the top. Fantastic exercise. And what I'm gonna show you next is the dumbbell variety.
Okay guys, this next exercise, I will say, based on my experience, is the best exercise for getting that lower chest and for getting a wide chest. If you wanna know what I owe my chest to, my shape, this is what I would 100% say is what I owe it to. I used to do dips religiously, you know, and I used to go heavy as well. I used to put a plate between my legs and just keep going up in weight to the point where I actually at one point had five plates between my legs. That's an extra 100 kg on this video right here. Check this video out. This is years back and I don't do it anymore because I feel like I've overdeveloped my lower chest. You can do this exercise on the parallel bars. You can do it off the side of your sofa. If you're at home, if you're training at home, guys, you literally, you know, you go like this, you stretch your legs out. The further your legs are, uh, are out, the more difficult the exercise. The closer your legs are towards your body, so your knees, the more you bring them in, the easier it is, you know? So um, you can definitely do that at home if, you, if you're training at home. But um, I'm gonna show you the parallel bar version. I don't have the parallel bars here, but you improvise. So all you need is just two um, high surfaces that you can, you know, get your legs off the floor with. I'll show you various examples. There's this one here that I did, and then there's this, which is parallel bars. You can do any, variety that works for you, but this exercise is the key. Now, what's the difference between using dips for triceps and using dips for chest? I've actually done a video where I talked about this before, but since you're here, we'll talk about it again right now. Guys, if you wanna target your triceps when doing dips, you're gonna try and keep yourself straight as you come up and down. So you're gonna go and come up straight. If you're trying to hit your chest, you're gonna lean forward as much as possible. Lean forward as far as possible. And as you lean forward and you come down, you'll see your whole chest just open out. In fact, you can see it right here, where my chest, you can see the striations, it's fully, fully open, fanning out, and then, you know, I push back up. So that is the difference. So if you wanna target your triceps when doing parallel dips, stay straight. If you wanna hit your chest, lean forward, get that full stretch as you come down, lean forward, stretch it out, and push back. Fantastic exercise. Okay guys, so those are the exercises. Um, you can add them to your routines. Um, how you add them to your routine depends on your goal. If your goal is to just build your lower chest, you might wanna do a full routine of just lower chest exercises and therefore you could use all these exercises that I've showed you. However, um, one thing I want you to bear in mind, and I said this in the incline video, your chest genetics are gonna determine how your chest comes out in the end, regardless of what exercises you do. Now, what do I mean by that? If you see my chest, I don't have that ledge that some people get. You know, some people have a serious upper chest ledge. You know, they could put a friggin' can of uh, a, a, a water bottle on the top of their chest. I don't have that. And I've been training for almost, no, not 21 years. I'm training 21 years. I have done plenty of incline exercises over those years, yet I do not have that ledge. It's just not in my genetics shape of my chest. What I do have is a lot of lower chest, which is down to me doing a lot of decline. But at the same time, I've done a lot of incline and I don't seem to have that ledge. So your genetics is gonna determine how your chest forms its shape. Bear that in mind. Appreciate you guys. Subscribe, tell your friends. Plenty of videos. Guys, check out this playlist right here. This is my chest playlist, guys. I have an abundance of videos on chest. So if chest is something you wanna build, whether it's your bench press you wanna improve, whether it's your strength you wanna improve, or you wanna get um, just a big full chest, I have plenty of videos. Make sure you check them out. Tell your friends, peace out, I'm out. Boom!